Several people were taken to the hospital tonight after a crash involving the ambulance and a car in Lincoln County. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Macko. Now, this accident also knocked out power for many in that area. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us now live with more. So, Lane, was the ambulance transporting anyone tonight? The ambulance is actually heading to a call, so there weren't any patients on board. However, uh, both the, the people that were in the ambulance and the other car, they were all sent to the hospital. Now, take a look at this. This is what the scene looked like earlier tonight. The director of emergency services in Lincoln County, Alan Holder, says this happened along Route 10 or McClellan Highway around a quarter till six. Now, three people were sent to the hospital, and the extent of their injuries and the events that actually led to the accident are, are unknown at this time. But officials did tell us that a power pole was damaged as a result of the crash. That's leaving a little more than 500 customers without power, and the crews have actually been working for a while to untangle the wires from the ambulance. Now, as for those who were nearby when this happened, I spoke with one woman who was actually visiting her father at the time, and she says she was outside and can only describe the event as loud and scary. And it kind of scared me a little bit because where they hit that power pole, the uh, electric flickered and like it shot flames and stuff out of it. And then the lot of wires was in the tree and the tree caught on fire. And my kids were inside, so it scared me. So I jumped up to run in the house to check on them. Now, the road was shut down for a short period of time, but one lane has reopened. But officials are urging drivers to use caution when traveling through this area. Now, as you can see behind me, power crews, they're still making repairs. Now, we don't have an exact time of when the full power restoration uh, will occur, but we'll continue to bring you updates as we learn more. For now, reporting live in Lincoln County, I'm Lane Ball for 13 News. All right, could be a long night for them. Let's hope it's not too late.